Hey family, welcome back to the channel, Celebrity Scandalous. We have to talk about some stuff that is going around after all of this Diddy scandal. You know, everybody's going over all this data and information with a fine tooth comb. Well, now people are starting to zero in on the fact that Corey Gamble, Chris Jenner's boy toy, her assistant, her man, whatever he is, he is strangely connected to a lot of the things that are going on in this city case and the people in and about this whole scandal. So it was interesting. I was just, you know, perusing as I do, just seeing what's out there, you know, trending topics, the latest gossip and boom, Newsweek. There's an article that appeared today and it's about Chris Jenner, Corey Gamble caught up in Diddy conspiracy theory. Well, they're calling it a conspiracy theory, but of course they would because, you know, they don't want to be, you know, I think the Kardashian influence goes so deep that a lot of these media outlets and newspapers and periodicals, they're still very scared to say a lot of things. So they're kind of treading carefully. So they're calling it a conspiracy theory, but there's, it's not a conspiracy at all. I mean, the, the facts is adding up. So let's get into some of the stuff that they're saying in this article. So the article says Chris Jenner, Corey Gamble caught up in the Diddy conspiracy. I'm not going to read the entire thing, but I'm just going to kind of go over the key points. So I guess that was a list of some of the celebrities that are named in this Diddy lawsuit or the whole drama surrounding Diddy. And some of those people, I didn't even know that they were named. So that's interesting. But anyway... Let's get into this story. So it says Chris Jenner and her boyfriend, Corey Gamble, have found themselves caught up in a bizarre conspiracy theory involving Sean Diddy Combs. Combs was hit with a slew of essay lawsuits in 2023, 2024. He has denied all allegations. The music mogul's homes were raided by Homeland Security on March 25th, reportedly due to an ongoing ex-trafficking investigation in New York. It is unclear if the investigation is linked to lawsuits. Okay. So now we see Corey, Chris, and Diddy in the little bubble. Okay. So now they're, you know, we're seeing the ties. So let's see how they're connected. During a Juicy Scoop podcast on April 23rd, host Heather McDonald and guest Spencer Pratt discussed an unfounded conspiracy theory circling social media that links reality star Jenner and Gamble to Cone. But Chris fled the country. She has not been seen since Diddy's house was raided, reality star Pratt claimed. What they've been saying on TikTok has been very interesting and I just never put the pieces together. So kind of let's listen to what they're saying over on TikTok. I have a feeling that, okay, so I haven't even like fully formed my thoughts on this topic yet, but I have a feeling that someone who we are going to see talked about more in the circumstances in the circles of p diddy is Corey gamble i have a feeling this man Corey gamble is going to be part of the industry fallout that is happening right now Corey gamble was so close with kim porter so close to the point that he has said that he helped raise p diddy's children chris jenner and the kardashians have had a very long friendship with p diddy and we know by now kim kardashian unfollowed p diddy 24 hours before his home was raided Corey gamble also has a very close friendship with figures such as jay-z and beyonce and like i said very very close to kim porter but he stayed close to p diddy after kim porter passed away i cannot put my finger on it it has always been so weird that Corey gamble kind of has like seemingly come out of nowhere while having extensive ties to the music industry for so many years but he's really just known as chris jenner's boyfriend he was or is justin bieber's co-manager he was when he was working with scooter braun so i don't know if he still co-manages justin bieber now that justin bieber has cut ties with scooter braun but Corey gamble and diddy go way 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 back like i do not know how to explain it but this photo and this photo give off the exact same vibes. I don't know what it is, but I predict something is gonna come out about Corey Gamble. And this is just my opinion, but I don't think that him and Chris Jenner are in a real relationship, but I could be wrong about that. I'm gonna keep digging into this because 
there's something here. He's playing way under the radar. The Kardashians and Jenners are trying to separate from Diddy, but their history remains. So we'll be back to talk about this further. Okay, so I have... So basically, what they're saying is that Corey Gamble is connected to so many people in the industry. And like, why? Where did he come from? Like, what does he have to do? Like, what is his talent? Um, what is his skill set? And it's interesting because Kanye West is, was one of the first to kind of come out and out Corey when he was going through his situation with Kim Kardashian. And it, even prior to that, he and Corey had had a falling out. So let's go back and look at Kanye when Kanye first starts to have suspicions about Corey. And what is he doing so closely tied to the Kardashians? And a lot of people do believe that he and Chris are in a fake relationship. You know, it's just for the public view and everything. One of, like one of those Hollywood setup relationships. People think that he's more of a handler more than anything. So this is an article and I think it goes back. Let's see how far back it goes. It's older, uh, maybe last year. And so they're kind of chronicling why Kanye West doesn't like Corey, but he makes some valid, valid points. And basically it's saying that there's no secret that Kanye West doesn't like Corey Gamble. And let's jump to this part. Kanye West called out Corey Gamble for unknown reasons. Kanye West's beef with Corey Gamble dates back to 2019 when it was shown in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that the rapper sent accusatory texts to, to Gamble questioning him on why he's so secretive. Now, isn't that interesting? So Kanye seems to be questioning like, hey, bro, where you come from? Who are your people? Why are you so secretive about your life? Of course, we wouldn't know because, I mean, we would only see what, you know, we see on they're uh, keeping up with the Kardashians, but for Kanye to call that out, and yes, I do think Kanye is uh, crazy sometimes, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't make sense or some of his points aren't valid. So he's asking him, why is he so secretive? Kanye texts Corey something along the lines of, look, we don't know you. We've never met any of your family members. Kim Kardashian explained via People, Kris Jenner took offense saying that West had been disrespectful and brought bad energy. So we see this started a while ago. And then, Chris, I mean, Kanye has gone on after that to call Corey out multiple times, even saying that he was ungodly and stuff like that. And the article goes on to say it was never revealed what prompted West to question Gamble. But the businessman later tried to offer up an explanation. And so Corey goes on to say, you know, I'm secretive and I'm private. I don't talk about my family. I keep them separate. Why? I mean, it's not like you have to bring your family to the public, you know, to the media. And I do understand, you know, people like their privacy. Yes, darling. I'm going to act like I'm across the pond, the privacy of it all. You know, people like their privacy. And so maybe he's protecting his family that way. But this sounds like this is a behind the scenes kind of a family issue. Like Kanye is questioning him like, we don't know your family. It's not like the public, like he has to expose his family to the public, but even those closest to you, you I mean, you are a fixture in the Kardashian household. Remember, this man was around Kanye West's kids. So he's like, who are you, dude? Oh, yeah. So this article also mentions that uh, where West is calling out Gamble and he says, again, God has a plan to remove the godless Corey. He wrote in one of his rants. It's also been reported that Kanye West has asked that or said that he does not want Corey Gamble around his children. So you even wonder why would he say something like that? And I know Kanye can go on the deep end and say a lot of things, but now people are starting to raise an eyebrow at Corey. Like, why are you so interconnected to all these circles? Now, we're also learning that he does, he did have a very close friendship. Of course, we know he's part of the Kardashian clan, but with Diddy. Now, there were some pictures that I saw maybe about a week or two where it kind of showed, they were kind of alluding to the fact that Corey may be a little sweet. And when I, I'm just saying that politely, you know, that he may be bi or something, right? And especially given the fact that this man is 40 dating a damn near 70 year old, like it happens, but eh, yeah, you, you might be with her for the perks and the benefits while you actually dating a man on the side you know what i'm saying i don't know and from what i've seen i don't believe he has any children i don't believe he's been married before so it all it is all very curious 
I have been one of my favorite channels is the paperwork party and I believe it's called paperclip now but I'm over on their channel and they are doing a deep dive into the Kim Porter unaliving or her passing however you want to look at it and it's really interesting the day that Kim Porter was found deceased in her home care Corey Gamble was on the scene why now see I have a lot of questions about that you know, there are reports that he said that he was so close to Kim Porter, he practically helped her raise the twins, you know. And so now I'm, you're, you're close to the Kardashians. You're close to Kim Porter. You also halfway manage Justin Bieber, who is now just poor guy, just having an emotional meltdown in the media, which I could understand after all of these allegations have come out. You know, the man is married, so he's he's married, which means he's presenting as a hetero man. However, people are coming out saying that he's really gay and all the things that, you know, they've done to him allegedly behind the scenes. That's enough to break anybody's spirit. I mean, my goodness. But anyway, that's another story. But we're finding out that Corey has a hand in so many of these different situations you know, like little fires in Hollywood, what's really going on? So on the day that Kim Porter was unalive, we find that Kamora Lee Simmons was there, which, okay, it has been said, and we know that Kamora, um, that they were like besties, best friends. So she's there. Now, of course, Diddy was there. He allegedly had the girls the night before, you know, before she passed. So he should be there. I guess he would be kind of considered the next to Ken because, you know, they have they share children together. But what does Corey Gamble have to do with all of this? And even if he's a friend of the family and a close friend of the family, let's think about this. In that kind of an event, when people die unexpectedly at a young age, you know, because she was fairly young in her 40s. First of all, though, I mean, one thing we always hear is they want to limit the number of people at the, well, I'm going to say crime scene, but even, even if it wasn't thought to be a crime scene, well, the homicide detectives did are in some of the reports they were on scene there that day of. So, but anyway, even if they didn't consider it to be a crime scene, you want to preserve the environment, right? I'm going to say evidence, but whatever is around the artifacts around where her body was found and things like that should go untouched just in case they want to examine it later. So why are all these people that are not, uh, you know, family members next to kin. I always thought that those are the people that you would be allowed to be in that space. But it looks like, you know, in Hollywood, in that area, Los Angeles, I'll say, you know, I'm just saying Hollywood is a blanket statement for what happens. Calabasas, Beverly Hills, all that place. You know, it looks like there's a different set of standards for celebrities. So I'm thinking now, if you look at the report and you got to go to the paperwork party channel where he really details all of this where he kind of chronicles you know them finding her body and the people that were on the scene there was a delay of about an hour and maybe an hour and a half before the coroners were called or you know the people the medical examiner so in that time it's odd to me that they would allow people in and out out of the house and Corey was spotted there and so that tells me I mean there are rumors that there were some um electronics that were taken like a laptop could there have been other things that were removed from that from where she passed you know who was allowed to go in and out of her room like you know how they say you need an audit trail where you track evidence and stuff like that like why were so many people that were not family allowed to be at that scene I I'm just asking these questions you got to think about it because we do know in other cases where they have had celebrities that have been unalive we know that people come in and they clean up an environment I mean that's well known you know uh, if, if there has been drug paraphernalia and stuff like that they will have people come in clean up stuff before they call the police to get rid of some of the evidence so you just kind of wonder I'm not saying that there was any illicit drugs or anything there but what if what about her electronics what about her cell phone what about a diary like it, it may have given somebody time to go and peruse her environment and move some stuff like you got to think about all of these things and Corey why were you there 
So I think a lot of people are starting to question that. And just like this article, people are really starting to put the pieces together and wonder how close was Corey to Diddy? What what involvement do you have with all of these people? The Justin Bieber, the Kim Porter. Um, who else? I'm sure there are even more people. He's tied to so much. Yeah, it's really weird that Corey Gamble was there at the scene of her death. Typically, it's supposed to be family and next to kin. Corey, what were you doing there? So back to this article where Kanye West is talking about. So back to this article where they're talking about Kanye West and Corey Gamble's relationship. Even in this article, it says that Khloe Kardashian admitted that she didn't trust him. When Corey and my mom started dating, I was definitely skeptical because my mom just got out of a 24 year marriage. I was just being protective. Meanwhile, Kourtney Kardashian had the opposite stance. So, you know, of course, you know, the girls may have varying opinions. But again, was he put there to be a handler? Because keeping up with the Kardashians, they're billionaires, right? That is a money making family. They were huge, connected to TMZ, all of these media outlets, a very powerful family in Hollywood. Was Corey kind of plopped there, you know, just as a handler or somebody to kind of, you know, keep an eye on things and keep Chris and others in check? You have to ask these questions because as we see now with um, P. Diddy, with all these cameras and secrets that he has on these celebrities and the fact that he's threatening as of late to come forward and kind of tell on people we're going to talk about that on another video it's just odd it's like Corey Gamble what is really going on with you now this article talks about Corey and Kris Jenner being a part of something with Diddy um I have not delved deep as deep into Chris's part in anything because you know I mean we knew that she was associated just by virtue of being the mother of the girls, the Kardashians. But Corey is the one that a lot of people are raising more suspicion about. Corey is the one bouncing around with all these various celebrities. And, you know, when certain situations go down, he's there. And is Corey a handler? Anyway, y'all jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts. It's some strange energy floating around. And we really ought to figure out, I mean, they're really starting to look into the fact of what was Corey doing at that death scene of Kim Porter? Why were you there, sir? People want to know. Anyway, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.